Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Have you ever imagined having a personal editor who could proofread your writing and help you make corrections? Well, guess what? You can do it with Microsoft Word Online. That's right. It utilizes artificial intelligence to help you proofread your writing as you go. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I am in Microsoft 365. And I'm going to come down here and open up one of my files. Here we go. This is a document about Brian Sensei's School of Rock. Okay, so here we're seeing this opened up in Word Online. And look at this. Over to the far right, we see I got a score here of 79%. So this is essentially my writing score based on artificial intelligence as it analyzes my writing. And you can see here it says there are 18 editor suggestions. So this is my virtual editor. All right, so let's see what the suggestions are. I'll go ahead and click on this. All right, what do we have here? Ah, we have some corrections. So one is a spelling error. So all I have to do is click right here to see where that is in the document. And look at that. It takes me to the word and it even pops up different spelling suggestions. Aha, I see I spelled success wrong. So I'll go ahead and click on this to correct that. All right. Hey, look at that. We got a check mark that's been corrected. Now we have grammar. Ooh, looks like we've got five grammar suggestions. Let's take a look at these. All right, the first one here, we see it's better to have no comma between these phrases. And I can reread this, and if I'm happy with that suggestion, I can go ahead and change it right here. All right, and it jumps down to the next one. Up to date, double check whether a hyphen is needed here. I kind of like to keep these. The school also stays up to date with the latest technology. I'll go ahead and ignore this. All right, the next one we have the word rockstar. This word works better separated into two words. Okay, I can understand that. Let's go ahead and separate this into two words. Next one here is potential. Double check whether a comma is needed here. Yes, I feel like there needs to be a comma there after the word potential. So I'll go ahead and correct that one as well. And here I see we have rock star again, and we want to break that into two words. All right, looking good. Ooh, and look at this. My editor score has now changed to 85%. All right, I'm getting better at this. The virtual editor is helping me improve my writing. Okay, so here's some interesting ones down here. Refinements, clarity. Let's see what this is about. Try avoiding words that might be unfamiliar to a reader. Ah, so here it's giving me some suggested synonyms that I could switch out for the word showcase. Honestly, I kind of like that word showcase over these other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore that. What is next over here? Formality. Let's take a look at formality. In formal writing, try spelling out the words. There is versus theirs. Ah. Now, speaking of formality here, if we scroll back up, we're going to see this right here, formal writing. Now, notice you can change this to professional or casual. So if I switch this to casual, let's see what happens. Look at that. I jumped to 99%. That means in a casual setting, this document is pretty much 99% up to par with good writing. Let's see what professional looks like. Okay, not bad, 97%. And so I can continue to go through here and fix my writing. Here's a vocabulary issue. Overused expressions lessen the impact of your writing. Ah, so the word ample and opportunities was likely overused within this document. So we could adjust that with these two choices here. But I kind of like this, so I'm going to go ahead and ignore it. You'll notice here you also have similarity issues, text predictions. You can turn this on and off. We also have insights. Let's take a look at this. Document stats. All right, so this is giving me the word count, how much time it would take for someone to read this. It's giving me a readability score. 
Based on the sentence length and the number of syllables per word, a college reading level may be required for reading this. How many characters is in the document? If you were to read this aloud, it would take four minutes. How many paragraphs are in the document? All right, so some really cool statistics there on my document. And so there you have it. You can quickly use your editor here in Microsoft Word to refine your document. It's like having a virtual AI writing assistant. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this, and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.